In this video, I'll show you how Premiere Pro can automatically transcribe your footage and create captions for you. Hey everyone, I'm the Web Guru and I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography, so be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I've already loaded a short clip of myself and I am going to transcribe it. So first of all, I'm going to switch over to the captions workspace by clicking on this little button up here. Uh, if for some reason you don't see it, you can go up to the window menu, workspaces, captions. And that'll open up the text panel uh, with captions inside of it. And there's a little button here called transcribe sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it, where it says audio on track, my dialogue is actually on audio track one. Um, and then you can also choose a language and there are actually a lot of languages in here, including uh, Chinese and Spanish, German, French, and a whole bunch of other ones. So this is actually a very powerful feature. Uh, I'm going to choose English. I'll leave everything else as it is and then I'll click on the transcribe button. Now this is uh, going to upload your audio to the Adobe server. So this is all happening up in the cloud. Uh, it can take a few minutes. So you'll have to be patient depending on how long your footage is. Okay, so here it is. So I can see my uh, transcript over here um, and I'm going to play here in the timeline. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to get started with Premiere Pro. And it's looking uh, very good as I play through the timeline. It's actually highlighting the word inside of the transcript. And if I click on any word inside of the transcript, it'll actually jump me to that part of the video. So that's actually a really nice feature that can save you uh, a lot of time. Now, when I look at this caption, it's actually quite accurate. The first line is totally fine. Um, but I do find a couple of little inaccuracies here in the uh, second line because I actually said, hi everyone, I am the web guru and it didn't quite get that correct. So I just have to double click and then correct whatever I need to. Like that. And so I found this uh, feature to be about 95 to 98% accurate, which is still very good, but you'll just have to double check the, uh, the spelling. Now, another thing that I really like about this feature is you can see over here, it says unknown. This is the speaker. So I'm going to click on there, then edit speakers, and then I can click on the little pencil icon and I can put in the name of the speaker and then it will automatically detect the speaker throughout the transcript. And if you have multiple speakers, you can put in multiple speakers who will automatically be detected. So that's a really good feature. Now, if you're just looking for a transcript at this point, I can click on the little button up here and then I can export a transcript as a text file. Now these lines are a little bit long for me, so I'm going to split them up. So what I can do is I can click on the first word of a sentence or a phrase then click on the split segment button and it'll create a new segment. And then I am going to keep doing that until the lines are short and manageable because when you're creating captions, you don't want to put too much text on the screen at the same time. It can be a little bit uh, confusing for people. And so just by clicking on a word and then clicking on the split segment button, I am able to split this up into shorter segments and then I'm going to click on the create captions button and this is where a lot of the magic happens. Uh, when I click on that button, there are several options. I usually choose just the uh, default subtitle format um, right here, no style and these default values are usually fine. The one thing I like to do is put my captions on double lines as opposed to single lines. It gives me a little bit more space. And then I'm going to click the create button. Now it's going to go through and it's going to convert the transcript into captions. Um, and you can see it right here in the timeline. There's now a subtitle um, track and there's all these little uh, boxes. And if I zoom in, you can actually see that these are the caption clips. 
And if I play the video, you can even see the caption there. I'll make the screen a little bit bigger just by clicking on this little line. And there it is. So now you can see the uh, captions or the subtitles. If I click through the video, it's automatically timed them correctly and placed them inside of the timeline in sync to my voice. So this is fantastic. I've saved a ton of time here. And at this point, if I wanted to, I can also go up into the captions panel. And then if I click on this little button here, I can export an SRT file. Uh, or I could also do a text file. And an SRT file is like an industry standard caption file that I can upload to YouTube and use in other places. So this is a great time saver. Now, right now, my uh, subtitles have the default appearance. And if you click on one of your caption clips here in the timeline, you can actually use the Essential Graphics panel to modify the text, the font, the size, the color, the position. Um, you can do all sorts of things related to the style of your captions. And I've actually covered that in another video. I'll put the uh, link in the description. So if you want to learn how to use the Essential Graphics panel to customize your captions and subtitles, go ahead and watch that. Um, and in this video, I really just wanted to focus on the uh, process of creating the transcript and the subtitles. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. This is a great new feature, uh, probably one of the best features that Adobe has added in a long time. Personally, right now, I am paying a third-party service to do my transcripts for me, so now I don't need to do that anymore. Um, and I can save a lot of money and a lot of time, and I'm planning to do all of my uh, transcribing and subtitling inside of Premiere Pro. Uh, so this is a game changer, and I hope you all find good value in this feature. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos just like this. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.